Hello, fellow Americans. I want to be the next runner-up to be president of the United States. I have a magnitude of knowledge, expertise, experience, wisdom, and a foundation deeply rooted within me. I'm going to go ahead and make America the best that it could ever be. I'm going to get rid of all the chaotic things that are happening as far as let me see here as far as all of the chaos and current drama and issues going on now and people panicking I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that first and foremost speaking of the coronavirus as a president I would simplify matters to a simplified equation and make it way 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 better for people to grasp comprehend internalize and just understand not make things complicated really and as far as geopolitics go which I disagree with and about because we're not babysitting other countries we're not depending on other countries and we are our own we are our own Tyrannosaurus Rex if you want to put it that way we stand for the best we represent the best we can think on our feet and we can operate without any help from outside countries so by and large all in all other countries will have to fend and figure things out for themselves in essence in theory we can produce manufacture enable us to survive regardless of outside assistance from other countries me as president we would have uplifted security uplifted grand methods to protect every citizen who's legally and lawfully allowed to be here and support utmost the Constitution what we represent our people our nation our country our vision keep it red white and blue I would see to it that every American would have better access to health care insurance medicine medication the pharma world would be easier uh, for people to obtain if they need it as far as senior citizens and the people that really do need it um, as far as insurance and the medical world is concerned uh, I would promote nature and allow people to smoke cigarettes in public if they want to I would get rid of cell phones I'd ban cell phones I'd make old-fashioned phones the cable the way it used to be because cell phones are taking away a lot of our kids minds and they're it's kidnapping it's they're taking away the process and the, the how they figure things out there is it's just distracting the young people too much cell phones it's robbing them of their intelligence so in essence technology is far-fetched I would not promote and encourage technology to amount to compete with other countries such as Japan and China and other Asian countries I keep things with simplicity and keep things happily on their merry way in essence and therefore the American people will thus be happy and merrily on their way and less bickering less objectifying and less being fed up and annoyed with status quo the way things are now as a president I would adhere to um, the military um, being that that would be uh, just where it needs to be um, on a large scale on a, a global scale um, so therefore we would protect our islands and our inlands and keep things the way they should be um, so Americans will feel protected and obligated to uphold and withstand the current uh, uh, threats that would uh, potentially arise so citizens would be prepared and we would be prepared as a government and as a country 
and we would be on alert and lookout. We would uh, make taxes a little bit easier for people to afford. We'd lower the gas prices. We'd, of course, encourage jobs. We'd produce a lot for other uh, countries that would be on allies that would back us up, that would support us as a country in America because America has been founded. We've stood the test of time and we're a great nation to other countries. We're blessed, we're unequivocal, and we will rise to any challenge that confronts us. As a nation, as a people, we regard America as the strongest and the best and freest place on earth on the planet to live. Therefore, their people are going to spread and come across and want to come and live here naturally. So we're going to have to put a, a um, kind of a barrier, a barricade, to prevent people uh, in order so they don't come over. And in other words, you have to be a legal citizen to live here. Um, well, our citizenship process and our government agencies uh, will still be the standard rule and we'll implement this. We're going to set this record straight. We're going to put America back on the map where it should be and, and we're going to play it large and we're going to be large. We're going to represent what America's meant to be. America's meant to be liberty and freedom and justice for all. And that's what I'm standing by. I stand by economics and freedom, religion, freedom of voice, opinion, democracy. Uh, I'm all about democracy and I'm all about being conservative also. I'm versified. I'm very open-minded and intelligent and I'm on keen and on point with situations and my obligations and focused and have a great prerequisite what can happen and what can't happen and where I need to put my foot and where I can't put my foot to be tough and firm but fair and reasonable. Personally, I think I would be a great candidate to be a president after President Trump, respectively. I think Trump is doing a good job. I think he's an intelligent individual, but I think that there's things he lacks in. I'm not going to talk about it, but I think we could do better. Um, I think I would be a great candidate, like I said, to be a president, the next president of the United States. And. I would, like I said, I would do it with cell phones. I promote parks, recreation, nature, people owning guns, the NRA. I'd encourage people to own firearms and have fun in nature. And I'd open all parks, um, arts and theater. I would promote uh, museums. Um, I'd basically bring it back to the 70s and 80s. Excuse me, I got allergies. And just be an honest representative to the people, to our nation and our hierarchy. And, uh, you know, just, uh, I would read everything the way it's meant to be read and said with candor, with integrity, with pure respect and utmost uh, quality because I'm a very large person with utmost quality and I would also promote cleanliness being clean a lot of people don't clean their teeth don't take showers and that's very important daily hygiene is extremely important and I would also you know get into that because people you know all, all too often they just uh, are lazy by nature, so that's not acceptable. As a president, I would adhere to it that I would see the people being clean, respectful, presentable, and have integrity because that's what America is founded upon is integrity, respect, individuality, freedom, and happiness, and believe in God, you know. I'm not really a religious person. I don't believe in organized religion, but I'm spiritual. But uh, count on me to be the next leader, the president. I'm not cocky, and I'm not conceited, and I'm not going to abuse my power because a lot of presidents 
have you know tried to manage to do that whereas me I'm a simpleton I try to please people in our our nation and protect our country and protect our freedom protect our values and our way of life as American people because that's what I represent and I'm gonna be a great leader and a great person to instill in these uh, practices and these notions to beautify America to make it even better and raise it to the highest regard in my book in my opinion because I, can, I, I foresee it I can see it I can tell it and I, I can tell where it's gonna end up and if you put your trust in me I will make America just the way it used to be simple happy and people free have a lot more freedom than they currently have and bring it back to the simple ways and old-fashioned ways because now technology is ruining things uh, cell phones uh, and yada yada a lot of other uh, means of technology is hurting things our uh, health uh, uh, stress is going through the roof which is unnecessary there's a lot of things that are not necessary but I would eliminate and get rid of and do without that stuff and I would make America way better than it currently is so vote for me being the next president God bless America.